Hey Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. I could be speaking from the perspective of the person that you're dealing with, known as the cross watcher. Okay, um, this could be something that's happening now in the near future or the future. The readings are timeless. So feel free to switch up the messages, interchange them. They are interchangeable. Alrighty then, angel, spirit, white light, help me to um, connect to the higher selves for the collective of Capricorn. Show me what I need to see for Capricorn. Who or what's coming towards the Capricorn collective in love, please? Oh, we're going to take that one. <laughs> okay, meditation. Who or what's coming towards Capricorn in love? Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You have the moon. I'm going to take the moon. Who are what coming towards Capricorn in love? And I'm also going to take message. Okay. So you have a message here. Meditation, the moon, and message. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Or you could have Pisces in your um, moon rising or your Venus Capricorn. So you could be very intuitive. Very, very intuitive. Who or what's coming towards Capricorn and love spirit? Capricorn. Capricorn. Who or what's coming towards Capricorn and love spirit? Give me one card. Thank you. Oh, well, shit. I said give me one card. <laughs> they gave me three. <laughs> All right. Because I hear, take three. <laughs> Past life relationship. Okay. Romantic feelings. Ooh. And new love, Capricorn. Wow. Okay, okay. Look at she. Feeling it so far. <laughs> I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah, there you are, Capricorn. See how you show up so damn quick? You could be dealing with another Capricorn. Or another Earth sign. Taurus or a Capricorn be dealing with a cancer one more shuffle please for Capricorn oh shit could be dealing with a Taurus well I already said that or a Libra who are what's coming towards the Capricorn collective and love peace spirit Capricorn eight of pentacles who or what's coming towards the Capricorn? Okay, and then you have death. Who or what's coming towards the Capricorn collective and love, please? I'm not ready yet, Spirit. I'm really not ready yet. <laughs> Who or what's coming towards Capricorn and love, Spirit? Capricorn. I mean, more Capricorn. Okay, one more card for Capricorn. Okay, ooh. Alrighty then. Okay. So Capricorn, we have you, the devil, <laughs> the ace of wands. Ooh, spicy. The page of cups. Ooh, and the six of cups. <laughs> Damn, Capricorn. Yeah. So what I'm feeling here, Capricorn, is that <laughs> whoever you're dealing with here, if you're dealing with a new person, I feel like you're dealing with the past and a new person. Yeah. You have someone from the past that's returning to you here. And then you have a new flame. <laughs> you have a new flame here. Okay? If you don't have it now, it's coming, loves. Trust me. But I feel like Capricorn, with the Eight of Pentacles, you know, somebody wants to fix it. They want to fix it. <laughs> this person from the, from the past wants to fix it. They want to repair what was broken, what was fucked up. They just want to kiss it better. Kiss it, kiss it better, baby. Kiss it, kiss it better. That's what they want to do. They want to kiss it better, kiss the boo-boo. And um, they want another chance. So with the death card here, I 
feel like um this person uh you could be dealing with a scorpio but with the death card here this person has transformed okay they have changed so whereas whatever this person was doing before maybe they were confused we're gonna see what the hell they were doing but it looks like they're serious now and they're ready to put in the work they're ready to put in the effort but um you already have a new flame here capricorn you already have something new here but this person from the past still feels very attached to you okay and they're not letting go easily they still feel very attached to you why is the eight of pentacles here the moon let's take this you have the chariot and the six of wands actually and i don't feel it why is the eight of pentacles here spirit if it doesn't feel right it goes back in i'm an intuitive reader i don't just read by the book all right you have the high priestess and the fool on the river yeah so capricorn yeah you could have really been dealing with a pisces here maybe even an aries but somebody really um maybe you found out some secrets about this person from the past maybe they were keeping secrets but i also feel like this is someone who really um they didn't take the opportunity with you when they had it the fools in the reverse they didn't they didn't uh, it's almost like they they missed their chance they just didn't take that leap of faith with you when they when they had the opportunity <laughs> capricorn and it's like this person really they've always felt some sort of spiritual uh, connection to you and maybe this person in the past they were ignoring their intuition but now it seems as though they're listening to it and now that they're listening to it they they want to work on it they want to come back and um take a leap of faith here why is the death card here what is this about for capricorn please what is the death card about for this person that is coming towards the capricorn collective and love why is the death card here for some of you this person was non-committal for some of you, this person was non-committal. Okay? At the time, they, they weren't, you know, they didn't want a relationship. Or they felt like they needed uh, their their own, they needed their time. Okay? To themselves. Like, they just didn't want to be in a relationship. So, you probably bit their ass fell well. Some of you, this person was a fucking asshole. You have the Knight of um, Wands here. They they felt like they wanted to go out there and um, keep being a fuck boy, a fuck girl. They felt like they still had some exploring to do, so that's why they were just non committal. They weren't really looking to settle down or to really be serious because you have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse next to the Knight of Wands. So it was some sort of incompatibility in the past. Okay, for some of them. They ended something, okay, and they were not ready yet to get back into a relationship or to, you know, really work on anything with anyone because they just came out of a marriage. Maybe they were recently divorced. It wasn't the right time for this person. This could also be you, Capricorn, okay? Remember, it is interchangeable. All right, why is the devil here, please? For Capricorn. For what's coming towards Capricorn and love. Why is the devil here? All right, I think that's, this is one card. Okay, we have the king of swords, the judgment. Yeah, for some of them, they were still attached to someone else. When you met them or when you were talking to them, whether you know that or not, they were still, uh, they had to get a divorce. They were not divorced yet. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius. Judgment here. They needed to finalize a divorce before you would even fucking consider them and look at them, okay? Queen of Pentacles in reverse could definitely mean someone who is in a relationship or somebody who is married that does not want to be, okay? <laughs> they want out. Because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse translates to the Nine of Pentacles in a reverse. So that means that someone was in a relationship acting single, okay? Yeah. 
All right, so why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here, please? For Capricorn. Tell me about this Ace of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Ooh, they're just coming out. Ooh, Capricorn, yeah. You could be getting to know a Scorpio. You could be getting to know a Sagittarius. But, um, yeah, you're getting to know somebody new, Capricorn. That's what I'm really seeing here. You have the Page of Cups. Keeps showing up. You got someone new in mind that you could really uh, have a lot of chemistry with. Maybe you're starting to de uh, develop romantic feelings for this person. And you're just like, I don't know. So, Capricorn, you're going to have a decision to make. Are you going to move forward with this new love, this new person? Or are you going to give this person from the past a chance? Why is the Page of Cups here? I'm picking up new love and past, past person here. Why is the Page of Cups here? One of them is going to have to get the boot, right? This new person could definitely be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could also be a Gemini, maybe even a Virgo. But, um, you know, you pretty much, um, I feel like Capricorn, for the most part, you haven't really been focusing too much on relationships or anything. You're like, you know, to hell with it. If I meet that person, I'll meet them. If not, oh, well, like, it is what it is. You're not really stressing yourself out. You know, Ten of Wands in reverse. You're not really stressing yourself out about anything or the outcome. Or anything like that. You're just kind of, you know, flirting around, enjoying the company. Just enjoying the enjoying yourself, right? That's all you're doing. If it turns into more, great. If it doesn't, you know, you're not hurt. You're not going to lose it. <laughs> you're not going to lose it. But I feel like this person, um, you know, expect a message from this person. They're, they're coming towards you very soon. This person from the past coming towards you very soon here. This new person could definitely be a fire sign, but you find them very attractive. Um, you know, the sexual chemistry, the, the the attraction, everything is there with this person. Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you may, maybe or may have not been physical with this new person yet. Okay, but um, you know, this is someone that you really you do see potential for a relationship with. With the Ace of Pentacles here, you see potential with this person. Tell me about the Six of Cups. You may even feel like this person from this part, this new person is like a soulmate. For some of you, this past person that's coming back could have been someone that you were married to, okay? Is what I'm picking up as well. Why is the Six of Cups here for Capricorn? Yeah, someone from the past wants a victory with you. Capricorn. But I'm getting a feeling or vibe that this person from the past may not be someone that you really want. It may not be uh, someone that you really um, want to get back together with. Because I feel like this person may have had you in third party situations. Or this person really was keeping secrets and, you know, doing things. And now they want to fix it. They want to work on it. For some of you, may not be completely divorced. Maybe you're just separated and this person wants to work on it. And you're just like, eh, I'm good. You have a new flame. You have a new love in your life, Capricorn. This past person could be a, a cancer. Um, maybe they could be very emotionally manipulative, okay? Very jealous. This is someone who could be a little unstable. And you're just like, um, I don't need those problems. <laughs> I don't need those problems. Um, but you're going to have a choice to make here, Capricorn, with the two of wands. Some of you just like, you know, shit, fuck that. I already made, made a choice. I'm moving on. I'm looking down at that motherfucker and I'm moving straight for my new love. I cut that motherfucker off. That motherfucker, that motherfucker, you know. Please, okay? Don't even think about it. <laughs> don't even think about it. <laughs> but I don't get that this is an ex or someone that wants to start drama with you, Capricorn. I'm not really seeing someone who wants to come in and fuck shit up. This is just someone who... Um, they want to tell you that they've changed or that they've that they're no longer the same person that you used to know some shit like that it's up to you you know when i make these videos i don't tell you guys to take them back you know it's up to you 
And judging by the looks of it, <laughs> you don't want their fucking cup. For some of them, maybe they were a little controlling or possessive or just like a control freak, always wanting to, you know, things their way. The magician. Yeah. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Okay. You have a new love here that you're really developing feelings for. If they're not here yet, they're coming. And then you also have someone from the past, maybe that you were married to or living with. Doesn't have to be. Okay. And when you were with them, it was just a bunch of bullshit. And they want to fix it and they want to work on it. Whoever this person is from the past. Okay. So expect that message to come in soon. I think on an intuitive level, Capricorn, you know that this motherfucker is going to come back. So, all right. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for tuning in. I love you all very much. And I hope to see you guys back at my channel. Be safe.